Hey guys, how you all doing? I'm Paul Detect John, and welcome to the channel. And uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how you mount the tabletop stand to this 55 inch Samsung Q80T. We've got the box for it right there and uh, that'll be coming in handy in a minute. As uh, you can see at the moment in time, it is wall mounted. So I'm gonna be uh, taking that down and removing the brackets off the back of that. And this is where the box will come in handy because what I'm gonna do is flip it over on its side. Gonna put a cover over it to uh, place the screen down on top of. Obviously the cover will then help protect the uh, this display itself. Then I can take the uh, brackets off the back and we can then start assembling the uh, tabletop stand. Got the uh, parts for it right there and we'll take a closer look at those in a minute. Now, if you are looking to buy one of the latest QLED TVs from Samsung, then please head on over to the link that's in the description and uh, that will take you to the guys at box.co.uk where they have all the latest models and they are the guys that are kind enough to uh, send out this TV for me to uh, try out for you guys and make videos like this. And uh, they will have all the latest prices on their uh, site as well. So please, head on over to the link in the description. Right, let's start getting this TV off the wall. Just place the box on its side here. An old blanket, let's just put that down. And uh, lift the TV down. We've got the wall mounting brackets off the back of the TV now, and it's time to start assembling the stand. And let's just take a quick look at uh, the parts that make up the stand. So we have the main sort of upright support there, and this comes in a couple of pieces. You've got like a, a plastic cover that just basically pulls off the back there and reveals all the uh, screw holes there. So we've got four in this base bit here and four that go in the back of the, uh, the TV. Next up, we have the actual metal base plate itself. And uh, flipping it over, we've got uh, four like, rubberized like, pads there on the bottom and uh, further two just at the back, this piece that protrudes out. And uh, screw holes there where the plastic bit will mount on. Now what I'm gonna do for you guys is uh, use my trusty tape measure and uh, give you guys the dimensions of this. So we have a width of 39 centimeters and that is uh, just under 15 and a half inches. The depth is 20 centimeters or just under eight inches. And that's on the main part here, but we have this protruding part and if you take that into account, that is 26 centimetres or 10 inches. Finally, we have two bags of screws. There is four screws in each bag, so eight in total, but all eight screws are exactly the same size. So we're going to have four that will go into the back of, well, through this into the back of the TV. And then a further four will go through there into the base plate. Starting off with the assembly of the stand now, I'm going to start off by putting this upright piece to the base plate. And as you can see, we've got this uh, little protruding bit just there. And simply, that will fit inside there. So simple enough to do, just hooks over the top and uh, slides into place like that. And uh, now what we need to do is attach the four screws in the four screws. But what I would recommend is a long screwdriver for this. It is a, um, they are Phillips screws. So uh, you're gonna need quite a long Phillips screwdriver because of the plastic, the way it is here, as you can see, um, you're gonna need a long one to really sort of get down the side there because otherwise you might start rounding off the heads. 
So let's uh, crack on and get these screws in. Right, that's all now complete. As you can see, it's on there nice and securely. And uh, we're not gonna fit this plastic bit just yet. And uh, what we need to do now is attach this to the back of the TV. And this is where it comes in handy, having the TV elevated um, using the box. So what we need to do is just line up. We've got these uh, two little bits of plastic st stick out here and uh, got a couple of holes there. Literally just slot those in and let it drop down. And as you can see, having it raised up allows the stand to just freely hang there and for you to uh, screw in the screws. So we'll uh, do that right now. Now, as I'm doing this, I like to do it like I do the wheels up on my car. I like to do them sort of opposite corners to get a sort of even distribution when you're uh, tightening it up. Not as important as uh, doing up car wheels, but still. <laughs> right, and there we go. So that is uh, now all mounted on there. Now, one of the reasons why I've not put this on the back just yet is that um, if you wanna route your power cable um, to the sort of uh, right-hand side of the TV, as you would look on it square on. Now, as you can see, you've got like these little channels just here. So what you can do is feed the cable through these convenient channels, like so. And then what you would do is grab your uh, plastic cover and then just pop that over the top and then that is securing that in place and there you go it is all complete and looking very nice indeed now let's just take a quick look around the back and as you can see we've got that bit that sticks out just a bit there and uh one final thing that i'm going to do for you guys is uh just take the measurement from the uh, top of the stand there to the bottom of the tv so his very lowest point will be on where the Samsung logo is there. And that is approximately seven, oh, let me just get it right now, seven centimeters or two and three quarter inches. There you have it then guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that video today. And if you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, then maybe think about subscribing for more of the same in the future. So thanks very much for joining me today and hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.